reseller friends, it's Yvonne. It's Monday the 28th. So I haven't done anything since last Tuesday on the Resellers Do Show. I had to say goodbye to you guys early and go pick up Steve from the dentist. He was having some dental implants done and that went fine, but then I got sick that night. I had some kind of respiratory thing, so I'm sorry to talk crazy, but um, it put me down for like, well, since then, it's been what, five or six days. I'm starting to feel a little better, but my voice hasn't come back all the way, but I'm just really bored of just sitting on the couch. Um, so I'm gonna work today, and then plus it's Monday, and I have to get out my weekend sales because Plus eBay, even though I haven't worked it very much, um, I still had some pretty decent sales over the weekend. <laughs> that haul life video that I was going to do for you guys is still all hanging here. I haven't listed one piece of it. I literally have to spin downstairs on the couch. Um, I did keep up with social media, so bless all you guys again. At least that kept me in the loop and I could kind of live vicariously through you guys, rooting you guys on for your good work. So I appreciate that. I did watch the MTV VMAs last night, so that was kind of exciting. Um, I think my favorite was Ward. I've got a, I, I'm an artist, I have artistic temperament, and so it was pretty interesting to watch. Um, music isn't my number one for art, um, I'm more visual. But I had a good time watching it. Love Katy Perry, of course. And I liked the throwback to the moon, you know, the, the old days, the beginning days of um, MTV. So that was fun. I, When I wore that MTV shirt of the retro moon man on the reseller stew last week, I was like, what's all the fuss about it? I, mean, I know it's a cool shirt. Yeah, heck yeah, it's a cool t-shirt. But then a couple days later, I saw, oh, the, the VMAs are out, and Katie's going to do the moon theme. So then I got it. I mean, like, people were actually trying to buy it off of me. But, of course, that's not for sale. It's too cool of a shirt. But now I get it, what all the hoopla was about. So that was a good time. Again, I think Lord was one of my favorites. I like my art really authentic with not too much overproduction. Um, but with that being said, still, most of it was super cool, super cool stuff. Always good to see pink. Um, weird, a lot of mixed messages though on that, on this year's episode of the VMAs. A lot of mixed messages, but whatever. I appreciate anybody who tries to make a change in the world. So there were some good, you know, fundraisers going on for sure. So hope you guys caught some of it. And, um, I don't know, drop me a line in the comments and what was your favorite performance? What did you think? Anyways, so I'm excited just to like get back in the groove, okay? So I thought real quick, chat with you guys and tell you what I sold over the weekend. Okay, so in my first, my my second store that I'm, which was like my buying account, um, I went ahead and I've been nursing it. It's only a couple years old. I've been nursing it and trying to switch over to hard goods and anything under 20 ish dollars over to that store. So that'll be a process. But anyways, so one of the things I sold for about 20 something was this um, mid-century modern MCM, as they might say, or if you're in the Facebook groups or, you know, you want an acronym for that, whatever the new slang is. This is Heidi Shoup. Hollywood California pottery and it's all it's got all the signatures and everything needed just a little abstract ashtray um, her stuff goes it's all over the board so you do want to kind of check comps on that but again Heidi shoot Hollywood or California pottery it may say and it's not limited to just abstract things like this there there'll be a whole array of different products okay so this I think I paid $1.99, so it's going up for about 20 ish The reason I let it go a little bit cheaper is because it had a little chip in it. Okay, so I thought that was interesting, even with a little chip in it that I repaired with some goldish fingernail polish and then disclosed um, and then double checked with her to make sure she saw that. She still said, yes, yes, I want it. So I even made a little bit of profit. 
And then the other theme, I've been putting my lower price t-shirts in that store. This one really was over $20, but I just threw it in there anyways. The reason these, it's a Harley shirt, of course. The reason these get a little more is because, you know, they're the long sleeve. And with the graphics down the sleeves always adds value as well. And um, you never know. I'm always patient with my Harley because sometimes it takes the right person that needs this, needs or wants, depending on if they're collecting or they were there or they're from there, um, the location involved. So, and then the other thing on this is this is only a medium. So, and I went ahead and priced it $24.99 and that's what I got for it. When you go to the Harley stores, the long sleeve shirts like this are going to be between $40 and $50, maybe a little more if it's something special. Short sleeve t-shirts are going to be around the 30 to 36 range, typically. So that, and they hold their resale value pretty well, um, depending on the condition, the graphics, the year. Of course, if they are the 3D emblem, you want to double check for that. This is not, you will want to double check. I can't show you, this doesn't have it, but it'll be somewhere small. Um, little copyright thing on the logos. Then you really want to do your research because that's going to up the value. That makes it vintage. That's a whole different ball game with your Harley. So you definitely want to check that, okay? So um, I noticed some people are selling Harley really, really cheap. Well, have fun with that because you don't have to. Just be a little patient. Okay. So in my main store, these Stuart Weitzman boots went out for about 55 that's a pretty good shoe label. Those are leather made in Spain. Um, I did fairly decent. This only took a few weeks with this vintage. It's not super vintage. It's kind of on the border, but this Tommy Hilfiger um, denim shirt, I think this did well because of the long spell out um, trim. The Oxford contrast. See what I'm talking about? The Oxford shirt contrast that they added in there. and, and Sorry, I'm this is backwards when I look at the computer. <laughs> okay. And then um, logo metal buttons. It's a good size. Nicely tagged everywhere. More little emblem. This is not exactly low key, but kind of in the middle, you know. It's not like in your face, but it's not super low key. Um, might could have held out for a little more. But I think the 24, 24, 25 was fair. Um, it didn't cost a whole lot. It's in a couple of whole videos back. I can't exactly remember. Probably somewhere around four-ish. That's going out. The other thing, this was a couple of haul videos back. So this took about three weeks. It immediately got a ton of offers. And back to school time, people are a little tight, right, with their money. They've got a lot of other expenses this time of year. A lot of people move during the summer. They're wrapping up that kind of thing. It's time for kids to go back to school. Um, whatever. It's just an unusual time of year. And I know it can sometimes doubly hurt because we're also come off of July, which is notorious a little bit of different sales because we're all out having fun. Or if you're like me, you're just not working as much because you're the one out having fun, not your customers. <laughs> so whatever. And then we get hit with a little back to school dip. But this immediately got a lot of watchers, so I didn't panic. And this is something, this is the one I told you guys I learned something new. This is Age of Love by Natalia. And it was in the lingerie department. I went ahead and paid about four-ish dollars for it. And um, I got the $46.99 full price. She didn't even send in the best offer that I wanted. Again, this was in the lingerie department. I always check lingerie department for vintage, which will do great. Um, that's where they will stick the Notori. Sometimes they'll stick the LuLaRoe long t-shirt dresses. So, and that's where they put this, thinking it was just a little row. Well, this is something a little more special. So that was definitely a good flip. I just waited. I knew someone was going to buy it, but it immediately had so many watchers. Oh, what else? Oh. And then again on my main store, Robert Graham pants. Um, these are the Yates. And I think I let these go for around 30-ish. I tried to get a little more, but solds were saying that's about what we're going to get for them. So maybe if they were black or brown or a different color. But um, 
I went ahead because of competition and it's been a while, it's been at least a month or so. I went ahead and let these go, but I still make good profit. First time I ever found Robert Graham pants. Okay, so that's some of what's going out. So I'm really grateful that I had, what, six or seven sales between the two stores this weekend because I listed nothing during the week. Just an occasional, like, tweaking my store, relisting. You know, when I started to feel better, you know, I got back on social media to chat with you guys. And I would, um, like, go through my listings and see if anything I could, like, make better. Like, switch photos around that were already taken on there. Maybe just move them, a different one to the front. Maybe play with keywords. Maybe drop or lower the price, depending. And so that's kind of how I tried to, like, you know, at least put some activity on my store, right? All right, so let's, I'm not, I'm not going to go through this whole haul, okay? But let me pull out, so I told you guys I had some really interesting pieces in here. So let me pull out a few things, okay? And then the rest of it, you guys know, any of you that hang with me, my reseller friends, you feel free to look at my store and kind of see, you know, what I'm pricing things at, how I'm titling them, how I'm handling them, what the, you know, look at my solds because, Unless you all that I that I chat with and are my friends, um, and or that do YouTube say not to, I'm probably looking at your store to see what I can learn. Okay, or, but if you tell me not to, I will. That's fine. Don't even have to explain why. It's fine. So this was something new to me. This turns out I, I'm not even gonna try to say it, you guys. I just recognize quality, and you kind of start to recognize a you know interesting tags. So this. Let's see, the tag drip, that, that means I paid a third off. So this was about $4. I thought maybe they were equestrian pants. They're kind of a cropped, um, slightly cropped straight leg with a zipper at the back. So, oh my gosh, this, this kind of stuff, you'll have to go look at some of the comps on this label up here. I'll wait, I'll pause for a minute in case you want to write it down for later to go kind of do your own research. Um, this is some high dollar stuff. And these weren't silk or anything. They're just cotton and some spandex stretch. I don't know. I think off the top of my head, if I remember what I was looking at, gosh, it's been over a week. I think I'm going to put these at around 120 just to, you know, start there and see. I'll take a little less probably. But some of their dresses, even resale, were like in the thousands. So I hope this is still a current enough piece that someone loves. To me, it looks very, um, you know, this coat, this season we're going into, this isn't the best color, but fashion forward fastinistas, they don't really always follow this, the rules of what color you're supposed to wear when. So these are awesome. Um, did find another pair of Lululemon training pants. I still love to pick up, because I have to look at the linen section, right, because of that Lisa Frank towel, $2.99 into $1.75, so y'all know I still have to look at the linens. Another reason why is for the crochet blankets. They're usually 3 to $5, and this one's really pretty. Look at this one. I pick them up if they're slightly unique, and this one is. Can't find the tag to remember, but it was probably around, oh, there it is. $3.99 with the Goodwill. So I'll probably put this one up at about $30. We'll start there and see what happens. Seems like I go in spurts on these things. It's like nobody's really buying them. And all of a sudden, I don't know if it's got something to do with state fair time of year or country county fairs and the competitions or a redecorating time, but it just seems like the goats in spurts. Of all of a sudden, people want to buy these cute little... I think a lot of bed and breakfast people buy these too, and perhaps even movie prop people are interested in some of these. Um, I always check the curling irons too for Chi brand, any of the professional brands of hairdress that hairdressers like to use. This is a Chi, C H I. I'll try, but I don't know if you're going to, if that's going to pick it up. It picks up the air, but the Chi is in, or Chi is in gold. Anyways, CHI, it's a, a lot of the professional hairdressers will also use this brand. And it's kind of a gateway 
between professional and home use products, the price point is. So they usually flip very well. This is a smaller travel size, probably about $30, I'd say, um, resale. It doesn't look like it's been used either. Um, and I'm always looking for the in stylers. Those are still maintaining around $100 uh, for retail price, and so you can usually get them get somewhere around 30 to 40 a little bit more if you still have the box and if there's no signs of use. Again, that's that in styler, that rolling um, hot curling iron brush. Okay, let's look at some shoes. Half price, four dollars. LA Tahari loafers, these should do well. I'm thinking somewhere around 30 or 40 dollars, and that would be a good deal for someone. Her clothing does well too. Um, some Levi's um, kind of, they're not Converse, but kind of like inspired, right? Levi's, uh, I bought these because of all the extras and the purple color, even the purple plastic toe. So um, half price, $4, probably going to get about 30 for these, but I just love them, the cool factor. I just like selling stuff like this. Bionics, Fink Allegra, Dansko. Oh gosh, every time I talk to you guys on film, I always like draw blanks. Dansko, um, Allegria, you know, the comfort shoes that are still kind of cute, right? This is another one. Let me find the best way to show you the, okay. Bionic. This is a sandal, but they make a lot of comfort shoes too that are stylish. So these, this brand sells well. Um, I've sold a pair of clogs before. These will probably do around $30 too. These are really in good shape. If someone really loves them, I might be able to squeeze out a little more. But to not sit on them too long, but not be impatient and, you know, get them some time. I'm not going to love them down too low. Some Kate Spade shoes. I Okay, remember I was down for a week. I already looked these up. I think I remember these are Abigail, the name. A lot of her shoes have games. Well, they all do. A lot of companies will give specific names to their clothing styles or their shoe styles, even sometimes their purses. And that can help with the sale if someone is trying to replace a pair or buy a pair they saw online or in a fashion blog or their girlfriend has. Um, or they saw, if you're like me, you see things in the store and you're like, either it's not your size or you don't want to pay that price. And so you go to eBay to find it cheaper. Anyways, Kate Spade, Abigail, I went ahead and paid $7.99 because I think Kate Spade probably, these will probably do about $30 or $40. All leather sold. What's going to do better, this isn't as well known unless you are really, really into high fashion. What's probably going to sell for more are these Jill Sanders. There. Hang on. Jill with one L. Jill Sander. Um, her clothing is very expensive, very high fashion. So these are probably actually going to bring me more money than the Kate Spades. I paid half price, I paid 350. They're still in pretty decent shape, like maybe worn a few times. Not a lot of drag, um, a little bit of pitting, which you get with um, the leather soles. You are going to get the pitting even after a few wears, especially if, if it, there was any outdoor walking involved. But it's done a lot of drag, you know, on the heel. So that's good. So I think, oh, and then always, always, always flip fit flops. These are white. I've never sold white. I hope they do just as well. Always pick up fit flop. Let me see if I can get it on that. Okay, let's try. It's going to say fit flop in all kinds of places. <laughs> I need to clean these up still. Darn it. I usually clean shoes. As soon as I get home, I clean the soles and everything. Some people don't clean the soles. Oh my gosh, I do. I've gotten shoes that I bought where the soles are dirty, and I'm like, really? Please. Like, I didn't notice that in your picture. I always clean the soles. At least get the little rocks and stuff out, and if there's any mud or who knows what. Though I apologize. I usually clean them as soon as I get home because I don't even want to touch them or put them with my other stuff. I'll be right back. I'm going to pause. I'll be right back. I'm going to wash my hands. I'll be right back. Sorry. I'll cut that out. I had to wash my hands because normally I wash the shoes, at least the soles, before I even take them out of the bag. As I'm taking them out of the bag, um, because I'm going to put them outside to dry or 
somewhere to dry. Um, somewhere where the dogs won't get it, mind you. Before I even put them on my over here, because I don't, I don't want to touch them, and I don't want it to get on my um, backdrop that I have over here. Okay, let me look at this real quick. I'm not sure about this. A Kurt Cobain T-shirt. I think it's vintage. No one at all anywhere, Etsy, eBay, anywhere online, has this exact print. So I don't know. I know there's some bootlegs. I just don't know. This could just be your typical $20 Kurt Cobain t-shirt, or it could be a little more. I need to keep thinking about this. Um, I'm at a standstill with it, but I will try to find out the, the lyrics. I don't think that's the suicide note because I will not participate in that. There are some suicide note lyrics on t-shirts. Uh, I think this is something else. And um, then I will try to utilize this label to see if I could tell anything about Hanes. And I'll show it for anybody who knows this kind of stuff. Um, sometimes you can date things or you can attempt to unless a t-shirt company was using dead stock. But you can kind of maybe tell when, like, they switch labels to, like clothing companies do. And you can be like, okay, this was a label they were using in the 90s or their 80s or whatever. Again, if someone was using dead stock and they printed it yesterday, that kind of fumbles up that plan, right? Some nice um, Hawaiian shirts. I want to talk about this one because this is real popular. It doesn't look as fancy. But you want to remember this label. I think it's called Sun Deck. These are vintage. The collectors are very, oh gosh, sorry. I can't get it, you guys. Okay, but let's go back to this. The collectors are really serious that like this. Sun Deck, okay? Um, and this one I just thought was funny. The good giggling Marlin. Um, maybe someone's been there. I did see some solds on this, so I think it'll be okay. I'm going to guess on this one. Um, it's not quite bark cloth either, but it feels that way, but it's not. Um, I'm going to guess somewhere around 26 to 30 on that one. This is a Jams World, and um, I like the nice big size. It's kind of a Baltic print. I went to the guy that has the website that has over like what 700 Jams World shirts that he collects, and I could not. And he he'll show the print and the name, and I couldn't find this particular one. I may give it another go over 700s a lot, but um, I'm having trouble with this label. If anybody knows when they started, when or why. If it's for a specific store or a specific time frame of when they started using this label. This isn't a typical James World label. So let me pause on that for a minute. Let everyone get a good look. And hopefully someone will know something about that to help me. Um, I went ahead and paid $3.99, which isn't very much. And I think this should do well. I'm going to wait, give it a while, and see if someone can help me with that label. Um, off the top of my head, but I'm going to guess somewhere around 30 to 36. Let's see. Another Tommy Hilfiger. Slightly vintage. Again, with some contrast. With the Oxford shirt um, detailing. Kind of like the other one I sold. Not really in your face, but not exactly low key either. So, I'm going to try to get about 36. Okay, this might be vintage because of where I think it's made, made in Japan. This is Pierre Balmain, forgive me if I'm not saying it right, saying it right. very high-end designer. This is just a little sweater, but it was half price, $2. I knew not to leave it behind. We'll have to watch my store to see how it does. Nice little thin sweater it does have a the logo symbol embroidered on it made in japan is going to be helpful makes me think it's vintage so it's going to be hard to say on this i need to do more research let's watch it and see what happens you won't find a lot of this if you can find some of their like suits and dresses ah oh, that's great grab it 
You might want to also write that down if you're not familiar with it to um, to Google that that name. This is definitely vintage platinum. Um, Dorothy, oh gosh, I never say this right. Sh Cholin, Dorothy Cholin. So think 90s, late 80s, 90s. I was in Dallas. This was one of all the rage brands. So um, for two dollars, I'm not going to leave that behind either. It's got some nice little. Um, Nice little metal buttons and it ties up. Um, this is just a retro brand, so for two dollars, I'm not going to leave it. I do not buy a lot of H&M stuff. The resale value is not great. Maybe a little more if it's that H&M conscious line. Um, but this, this kind of theme, sweaters always do well, you know. So what is that? A pug. $5.99. I went ahead on this. Again, I don't do H&M stuff, but when it's something like this, this kind of stuff sells. I love to sell this kind of stuff too, the theme stuff with the animals. Military, I'm going to try to do this one all by myself because I have been successful at this kind of thing. If not, I'll hit Chad up, but I think I can handle this by myself. Again, if not, I'll ask Chad and Kim for a little opinion. Um, not a lot going on with this one. It's not embroidered, which would make it better, but it is very clean satin bomber, super clean, no snags, which satin bombers tend to get, but it is also still new with tags. Chalk line made in USA, definitely vintage. And this is what this says on it. Okay, it's backwards. Sorry, I look at the TV screen and then it's backward. So let me get this right. <laughs> there. This is something that happened. Of course, there are no jackets, Operation Deep Freeze Antarctica. There are no jackets for comps that I could find anywhere, even just off of eBay. But there are other memorabilia with this. Um, hello. There are other memorabilia with this on it. And like patches are selling for around 20 bucks. So I'm like, well, then certainly a never worn pristine vintage jacket someone is going to want that eventually. So I'm thinking I'm probably going to put that 80s. I'm thinking somewhere around 60 is where it will settle out. Usually this kind of stuff does. I wish that was embroidery. I really do, but that's okay. It's a pretty rare piece. So uh, after I've done enough research, because I do not like to hit up my friends until I've done my research too, I think I'll do a little bit more research, make a little bullet list of what I think and what I found out flip it over to Chad and when he has time hopefully he'll give me his opinion too. So what else? Members only jacket, authentic, do buy these. So 80s, members only. Everybody knows these, I probably don't even have to zoom in, right? Okay, very classic straight up members only jacket. $6.99 because it is a straight up vintage members only jacket. So I went ahead and paid $6.99. Probably is so super clean. I'm going to guess around 38. Oh, definitely want to take a moment. Gosh, there's so much good stuff in here, but I don't really have time to go through all of it. You guys, I do so well with this kind of stuff. And Halloween season's coming, and the thrift stores are starting to put out their Halloween stuff. Yes, because this is where you're going to find some. I don't buy the little cheap costumes, but I rate it for vintage items and stuff like this. This is a company of many that make vintage looking reenactment clothes, Western wear. They try to make it authentic. It's made recently, but it's made to look authentic and vintage. Um, country Western stars, celebrities, you know, they buy these higher end brands to look authentic. And people who do reenactment, movie props, they will buy this brand. This was probably about a two, 250 jacket, I'm going to guess, based on experience, but I will finish looking it up. Probably going to sell for around 60 to 80. I'm going to wait. Um, it's a great size, too. It's a size. 16. If this was my size, a little smaller, I'd probably keep it. Missing two buttons. Bless somebody's heart that loves her items but still donated it. She attached the extra two buttons. I will sew them on. It will be totally worth it. I paid 
Do not hesitate to pay that kind of price. Let's do this one more time. That's just one of the makers. There are several, like, look up Wild West clothes, um, reenactment, historical Western, historical rants, those kind of things. And you'll see there's a handful of companies in the U.S. that do this. They're super quality. It's not like your cheap Halloween costume. Super quality. Let's see here, some Tommy Bahama pants, and then uh, for some reason they priced the Wilson's all leather for $5.99. I think sometimes they think it's that pleather stuff that's so popular right now, the pleather, the leather, faux leather, the vegan, however you want to title it. Um, but this was Wilson's all leather, so $5.99, yeah. Probably get about, if I want to sell it relatively quick, 28 to 32 <laughs> Okay, let's talk about this real quick. Um, can't help myself look at the t-shirts every once in a while. I mean, come on, I found that cool MTV t-shirt, right? I found this Kurt Cobain. That's where I'm going to get my Harley stuff, and that's where I'm going to keep an eye out for um, some cool military or sports-related or vintage cost, um, concert, music concert people, especially rock. So this is David Gonzalez. This is from 1994. This is when he was doing the homies, which is one of the things that first made him famous, okay? The homies. I don't know if the homies is still in, but since then he has graduated to do a more current art theme. He is the one of the leaders in that um, David Gonzalez. They're all up on eBay. It won't be hard to find. He does that kind of... Um, not gothic, um, kind of cholo or chulu, tattoo-like, graffiti-type, you know, some sugar skull girls, you know, he'll, he'll put in there because that's popular. So he's real big on that right now. This is kind of one of the ways that he got his start. So the homie figurines still sell, not for a whole lot, but there are still some collectors. Could not find one single of his t-shirts. So um, it is authentic, and so I don't know, but I think I'm going to try to put it up for around 48 and see what happens, right? See what happens. So what does Tanya say? Can't make a lot of money. You don't ask for a lot of money. Um, sisters, I'm not real big on that. I'm kind of over the anthropology stuff, unless it's going to be over 30 or $40. This might hit around $30. Um, because of the nice crochet, right? That's really popular right now. This would be a great sweater. It's a really soft, nice crochet. Uh, I think I paid about three or four dollars for that. This is a better piece, Eileen Fisher. You know the labels by now. The reason I went ahead and chose this, it was only about six ninety nine. dollars um, Some prices are going up in my thrift stores and probably yours too. Six ninety nine dollars is okay for this because what makes this one special, it's a decent enough, um, you know, with the drape swing front, it's a fine pattern and shape. This is organic cotton. That is very important to some people. Sometimes they will pay a little more for the organic cotton. Some people are very serious about that kind of thing, about sustainable fabrics and companies. And Eileen Fisher has a couple of lines or collections in her line, collections in her line, where she does some collabs with sustainable farming and, you know, way sourcing for her textiles. So to some people, it's very important, and that can bring you a little bit more money. Um, I've got two of these, one purple, one black. I'm keeping it. They're not worth a whole lot. What is this called? Ne Nima? I think it's the Nima or Niba dress. Little athlete dress. It's energy by Chico's. Um, I'm keeping the black one for myself. It's just a really comfortable little athleisure dress. They only go for a little around 28 to 30, but gosh, I'm going to end up showing you guys all, so I'm going to go faster. This one's $7.99, but I felt comfortable paying it. Etcetera is a pretty decent design house. Not super high end, but not cheap either. Think like um, maybe Antonio Milano, that price range. What else? Um, 
BB maybe depends on what um, division you're looking at. Sorry, I this I always want to kind of help, and then my mind draws a blank when I'm filming. Sorry. <laughs> Anyways, this one's epic. Oh my gosh, how cute is this little stretch um, fitted sheet with the full zip front and the jersey? I mean the um, yeah the jersey style. Oh my gosh, someone I can see someone wanting to wear this. This could work in the corporate world. This can work for, you know, the ladies' lunch. This can work for the horse races with your cool hat. Awesome. Jockey. Jockey is what I meant to say, not jersey. Little jockey style, you know. Okay. Oh, gosh. I, I'm used to keeping one eye out for Lily Pulitzer prints. I never even thought about her solids. Um, and I touched this, and I thought, mm, this isn't as soft as I like. I'm not, you know, I thought, I'll check it to see what label it is. And it was a Lily Pulitzer, so I'm like, okay, well, that means yes, because it was $7.99, and I wasn't loving the feel of the fabric. I'm like, this doesn't feel that expensive. It does have a built-in slip, cute enough style with the bell sleeves, little fit and flare. But when it says Lily Pulitzer, well, then, yeah, you got to give it a try. I did look it up. It does have a name. Remember, I've been sick all week, so I can't remember. <laughs> but um, a lot of times you can find the names, too, on Lily Pulitzer. So... I think I wasn't real thrilled with the price points. I think resale value on this is probably going to be around 36 to 38. And I can see why. It's not the best quality fabric for a higher end designer. I'm a little disappointed. Um, this is a free people. I only bought it because it was half price, $3.50. A little bit retro. So with the retro look, and I always like a dark floral. I think that's cute. Free people, I think this is an older tag, definitely. So for three fifty, we'll give that a try. I'm kind of over free people unless I unless it's something more epic. Oh gosh, this is just vintage. How cute, you guys! Look at this little, almost like a house dress, but too contemporary and cute just to wear around the house. It was only four ninety nine. It's something Swedish or German or Norwegian or Austrian. Here, can't find too much like it. If you guys know anything, feel free to help me. I will love you for it. But I'm smart enough to get this little cute thing, right? Some vintage girl or some girl from wherever this is from, whatever European, Scandinavian country this is from, is going to love this. And I'm going to love sending it to her. Um, a couple anther dresses, kind of over the anther stuff, like I told you, unless I think it's going to be over $30 and worth my time. This one usually is. I usually have better luck with this anthro design, this design house that also does for anthropology. So I think the last, I don't know how to say it, the last one I got at that Florit, um, I think I got 60 or $80. This one's pretty cute. It's got some nice embroidery, you know, so it's got some special touches, right? So I'm like, okay, $6.99, I think it would be worth it. It's got a built-in slip. I think it's part silk. So I steam this up. I think it'll be worth it. I think I think I can pull about 40 for this, okay? Wish me luck. Okay. Let's just look at all of you guys get tired, just move on or check my store in a couple weeks and you can see what I newly listed or what I sold. But there are a few more pieces I want to talk about, so let's just do it. Okay. So this one's $6.99. The reason I bought this one is it's a Dezigul. I thought it was going to be another free people or anthro. I'm not used to seeing this in Dezigul. I'm used to seeing a little bit more elaborate. I wish this was embroidered. It's just silk screen. But it's pretty cute. I'm a big fan of Dezigul myself. So it's just... The des I don't know where they're made anymore, but the design house started in Spain. And it's usually pretty funky and colorful. Okay. This is very um, arts and crafty. Um, bold legging look, I would say, <laughs> because very colorful. $6.99. It's by Charity. It is a vintage company. A vintage label, excuse me. Abalone buttons, you know, it just, I mean, it's not my style, right? But I know 
quality and I know unique and I know interesting when I see it. And this will sell. It might take a little while, but when the right person comes along, they're going to fall in love and be so happy. And they're going to buy it and make me happy. Antonio Milani, their dresses usually do pretty well. It was half price is why I went for this one, only $4. I wouldn't have paid $7.99 for it. But it's cute enough, cute enough style, cute enough color, this salmon peach. Hopefully not too late in the season, but hey, so we sell all over the world. In places like Miami, excuse me, places like Miami and California, and I mean, you know, Hawaii, they don't care about these, about they're not going to have winter and be like, oh, I can't wear this color. I can't wear this little sundress. So there's cruises and vacations. This is pretty cute. Their dresses sell pretty well. I do better if it's a nice career dress. It usually sells pretty quick, a nice career sheath. So, but for $4, we'll see how this one does, right? If it doesn't do well, it's one of my daughter's size. I'll give it to her. Okay. Excuse me. I always do these kind of things. Planet Earth imports half price the Salvation Army, so it was three dollars. This has a black cat on it. I might be able to squeeze this through for Halloween. I don't know. It has uh, metal concho buttons, but it's an alpaca blend. So I usually can sell just about anything with alpaca, even if it's not, say, like. What brand do we love the most? Like Peruvian Connection. That's a pretty quick flip with an Peruvian Connection alpaca sweater or dress or something. So this isn't as exciting of a label, but it's fine. It's for $3. It'll eventually sell. I'm okay. I keep about two to three hundred dollars. <laughs> I keep about two to three hundred items in my store at this time. I am a part-time three-quarter eBay seller or online seller because it's not just eBay. And but I consider myself a professional reseller. I don't know how to qualify times. Like this week I was sick. I spent a couple hours on the couch, you know, working on my my online resale business. Sometimes I work I really go out heavy and I maybe 30 hours a week. But I have other streams of income and I think that's a smart way to go. If I wanted to go full time and if I needed this to be my sole way of earning a living, I would have to expand, hire employees and all that. Um, I don't need to. I have other ways to make money. Okay, so I'm not saying either way is better. I'm just saying, telling you guys how I am. So I keep two to three hundred items in my store currently. And depending on how hard I work, I usually clear, clear my profit, fifteen hundred to three thousand a month. That's pretty good for extra income for something that I enjoy, that I love. I feel like um, it fulfills a lot of needs that I have for socializing, for doing my own thing, for working at home so that I can do the other things that I do for sources of income, including playing poker and um, doing things that feel a little socially responsible, like you know, keeping things on the landfill, all those things we tell us, saving cute artsy pieces that do not need to be thrown away that someone else needs to rock probably that's one of the most things of my artistic temperament and i look at clothing because i'm visual i look at clothing as pieces of art as well oh this okay it doesn't matter i'm keeping it for myself super cute what is it i don't even know bb dakota what is that cole i don't even know i never buy this brand i think it's coles or Tar not target i don't know somebody will know but it was um, only $1.50, but I'm keeping this to wear under under things. Sorry. I'm going to show that to you. Some LuLaRoe. $2.50. This might bring me a little... LuLaRoe prices are coming down, and I think some of the consultants, even though that they are not allowed to sell um, on eBay, I think they're finding ways, of course, you know, to get that job done anyways. And... Um, also, a lot of them are going out of business and dumping their stocks, right? And so it ends up on eBay. So competition is getting a little fierce on LuLaRoe, unless you have something really coveted or a unicorn, as we say. Um, prices are seriously coming down. This jersey will still bring a little bit more. And if this is a sought-after print with the American red, white, and blue, that might be helpful. I might, 
I've seen some of these jersey with the right print in the middle go for still around $40 to $48. So let me do a little bit more research. I'm going to try to price this as high as I can and see what happens, okay? This one might be to where I can still get a better price point for it. And then the other Luda Road that was half price at the Salvation Army, so $3 with a nice skirt, maxi skirt. Probably about 28 to 30 on these. Um, it's not an epic print. I mean, it's a fine print, but when I say it's not an epic print, I mean it's not anything that probably is going to be a unicorn. I mean, it's a fine, beautiful print, right? I like it. It's fine. But you know what I mean when I say it's not an epic print. So probably probably around the 30s. All right, you guys. Well, I'm trying to... This, um, look this up, Project Alabama. So that if you, and well, you won't miss this label, right? Just buy any of that stuff. And if you want to know why, look that up. I'm sorry, again, I've been out for a week. So when I looked up all this information prior to last Tuesday, because after the resellers too, I said, you guys, I'm going to do a whole video. I'm going to show you guys some stuff I learned and talk to you. Now it's gone. I've been on cold medicine for a week. So, you know, I've been high on cold medicine. I have some of this stuff I'm going to have to like start over. This one, oh, this is not too bad, Taylor Bird. This is not too bad for a men's shirt, okay? That's not too bad of a label. So it was $2. It's got a little embroidered. Let me find it. There we go. Got a little embroidery, too, on the pocket. I don't know. It's going to be a special man that's going to like this pattern, but that's a pretty good shirt label. So I'm going to guess this $2 will probably turn into about $28 or $32. If it was a better pattern, maybe more. Okay, and a nice deconstructed, who is this by? Oh, com oh yeah, Comfy USA. I paid half price, $3.50. Hang on, you guys. Let me get the dry. I don't like to take off the dry cleaning because it proves to people that it's clean. But, so I'll leave the dry cleaning, but this is a good label too. Think soft surroundings, about that price range, about that kind of typical customer. Paid half price, Salvation Army, um, on their half price day, so $3.50. This is a great artsy white shirt tunic, deconstructed. By that, you see what I mean when it has things like this, you know, so it's kind of like deconstructed is what you would put. You see how the collar is? I, I hope you know what I'm talking about. I don't know why, but this little thing pulls the collar so you can change it. So I will probably, even though it seems like wrong or like um, dichotomy or juxtaposition, um, but that's probably true on these RT type shirts. I'm going to put fitted, deconstructed for this. I'm going to put um, tunic. I'm going to put leg and look. And some other things when I get to thinking about it. This has abalone buttons too. I think this is probably going to go for just under $40. So $350 into $40. I'm pretty sure just under $40 is what will happen. Uh, this is a fun label. You'll see a lot of it actually in the thrift stores. And you'll notice you'll notice by the crazy colors. Alberto McC McCowan? Gosh. Read, but nobody said these. Alberto McCalley, you'll see a lot of that in the thrift stores. So this one I paid three dollars. I don't buy all of it, but it reminds me of a of, of a crazy bold camaro um, with the crinkle and the kind of that same customer base. But this is more bold than camaro does. Um, but I like this one because it's a jacket and some of the extra features. So other than that, I don't buy a lot of Alberto Macaulay because some people are pricing it too low and I don't really want to compete with things under $20. I think this I can pull around $36 or $38 to not sit on it too long. I think I'll probably price it like around $46 and I think offers are going to come in. I'll see you tomorrow unless I crash again. I'm going to get my shipping done, get out of here, go to the grocery store. Thank you so much. I'll talk to you later or see you on one of your videos.